Find out more about the Yangtze disaster and its effect on China's national psyche. Joining us now from Beijing is Gregory Song. He's a current affairs commentator. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Tell us how devastating this has been for the people of China and their psyche. It's a great tragedy. Uh, as you know, uh, more than 440 lives lost in this incident. And of course, many of them are uh, retired uh, elderly citizens over 60 years old. They took the last voyage as a pleasure trip, ended up in this tragedy. Uh, I think the impact is severe on, this, on the country, and uh, many things has to be looked into carefully to find out exact reasons that led to this tragedy, and also review of the operational procedures to find out anything can be done better than before. Then, of course, take uh, precautions, uh, improvement, improvement measurements in the future to reduce tragedies of this kind to happen again. China responded very quickly, getting the, the ship upright and, and recovered. What did China actually do right, and what can China do to prevent the tragedy from happening again? Let me mention this. I understand before the tragedies happened, there was a weather forecast uh, warning the sailing ships uh, a bad weather is coming and a tornado perhaps is striking this area. I just raised the question, I wonder to what extent this message has been sent to the ship, to the captain, or whether the captain has any correspondence with the uh, uh, Chongqing, uh, Eastern Chongqing Shipping Company to decide whether to proceed to meet the schedule or to dock the ship to uh, w wait for the storm to go away. There's another ship uh, did stop, and nothing happened to, to, to that. Uh, another one is the maneuver. Of course, as you know, a, a river-going vessel compared with uh, ocean-going uh, ships, designs are different. The bottom of flight, the center of gravity is much lower. And then, of course, the structure, super structure above the water is very high. When you have a uh, cyclone coming to hit the ship, if you turn to the wrong direction, become a direct hit, hit by the uh, wind, the uh, ship were uh, capsized. So we don't know whether the maneuver of the pre pre captain at the time was the correct move to make. Of course, he and the chief engineer are seasoned sailors. They have very good uh, sales record. There's no problem. However, at a time of emergency, we, I wonder what happened to that. Then, of course, uh, a ship of this kind, as I mentioned earlier, the uh, center of gravity is much higher. So perhaps in the future, something can be done to improve that part to make the strategy happened, same chance is smaller. Then, of course, operation procedures. This time, as we know, the water is deep, the current is strong, and uh, you couldn't see much at all. And uh, there were about 200 divers uh, mobilized to uh, take care of the issue, but it's much too late. By the time the ship's under the water for two or three days, you reach to the ship, it's, 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 everything's long, long, it's all, all, also fixed up. So many things have to be looked into carefully to decide what exactly happened, what can be done in the future to improve the situation. Well, Gregory Song, thank you so much for your time, and our thoughts are certainly with all of the people of China during this very difficult time.